Are you struggling to grow your YouTube channel despite creating great content? The secret may lie in the setting you haven't optimized. Let's dive into the key adjustments you need to make get more eyes on your videos. So, a lot of us, we are struggling to get attention on our social media platforms. So, most time, we forget to know that the problem is on us, right? The reason why I'm saying this is because I've been on social media for almost three years, especially YouTube channel right i've been struggling to get attention on my social media posts i've been posting videos regularly but the attention is not there for to catch the people for them to stick and watch my videos so recently i find out to know that i have to do something on my social media platform for me to get this kind of eye attention that i want on the platform so i decided to take some courses and listen to other videos so these are the settings that you need to turn on these are some of the settings that you need to turn on in your youtube channel account Turn on before you can catch the attention of people and some of the tweaks that you also need to focus on while creating content so let me just be honest with you guys sometimes when you start a social media platform there are so many mistakes we make even today i'm still making these mistakes you know i'm not producing quality content but i find out to know that if you are trying to improve each and every day when you're making content honestly you will see yourself improve to the next level right so these are key things that you should remember so without any time wasting let's jump in straight to the video i'm going to show you some of these settings that you need to turn on in your youtube channel account before it will help youtube channel to share your videos to people who are interested in your videos and also some of the things that you need to turn on because most of these settings are on and then when you post a video it will affect because so now let me show you some of these settings that you need to turn on so when you log in into your google account go on youtube try to search on youtube channel right let me see okay this is my account if i want to make a post this is what i would do so if you want to make a post in your account this is what you do you click on the stop right corner right when you click on this one i'll just demonstrate this is just a demonstration this account is not actually active but i'll try to show you so that you can see how i'm making posts on this particular account and then you will also do the same thing i have another youtube channel with awuna pepe blog you guys can check it out on that one i do different things on that particular platform so you can check it out and have the idea on how you know these settings can actually you know elevate your platform recently when i find out and i start doing it now you can look at an example like this video i posted this video it and then it has 600 and something views right and then look at this other video again because i started doing this thing and look how many followers i have in this particular platform i have 26 followers by the time me making this video i have 26 followers so that tells you that it's because of this system that i start implementing my videos and that's why i'm getting this amount of traffic right now so let's go so let me show you how you can do this by yourself okay let me see you create this one as you can see let me just make an example try to upload a video so let me find a video uh for my account and see which video okay now let me say i have this video right i'll upload this video so these are the key things that you should focus on right your title your title plays a great role for you to get attention so i'll go step by step and show you the things that you need to really really focus on so now let me see this video i talked about uh, a lady who has a disability so how am i gonna write a title for this particular conversation right now let me see so this title is a very good one how she lost her boat legs right but sometimes you can also use another um way for you to get more titles like on this one so now let me go to chat gbt and ask chat gbt to write me a, a title concerning this particular uh, thing right so i'll go on chat gbt i open my chat gbt so now i'm gonna ask chat gbt to write me a title about this particular video to copy the title that you already wrote on youtube and bring it here and ask chat gbt to give you better options of titles so now let me generate this one i'll put this one coping with loss right her journey after losing her legs and then also what next you will do you just write a little bit so now the next thing you need to do is uh, to write a description about this particular incident so take your time and write just a little bit maybe like two three 
few words right you don't have to put a lot of writing in your description to make the sentence very difficult for people to even read so for me normally what i did i would just copy this and, and ask chat gbt to write me a description maybe like 100 words or 50 words concerning this particular so you have to also find a hashtag let me see i'm talking about somebody who lost her legs right so i have to find some hashtag maybe one or two hashtag that will related to this individual you know to this particular topic when you put those ones it's really helps because if people are searching for that particular thing or something similar to that facebook or youtube channel will recommend your channel as long as you, you have so as long as you have those tags on your in your description so make sure that you write those ones and then after that you go next to another thing again the thumbnail it is very 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 important for you to get a thumbnail right so the best thing you should do there is an option right now you can use the test option for thumbnail maybe if you want to use like three or four thumbnail at the same time you can use this test and then after that you will see which thumbnail perform the best because you will see the analytics when you post the video you will see the thumbnail that people you know attract people for them to click on your videos to be honest with you you have to make sure you give a title a very good title and also a thumbnail for people to click on your videos when you do that it will help you to go on social media and also it will help people to click on your videos sometimes the topic might not be too interesting but the thumbnail and the title will inspire people for them to click on that particular video so you might get followers through by that okay so make sure you pay attention to these things that i'm that i'm sharing with you and then after that you will come back so after you're done with the thumbnail the next thing that you should focus on is your playlist i'll advise you to make sure that you open a playlist right let me say like this uh create a playlist right now i'll just name this playlist as let me just name this playlist as podcast when you come down here you have to give a little bit of you have to give a little bit of description whenever somebody comes to my page and that individual wants to get some insight about health issues when he or she click the playlist after your video the first video after the actual video that the person clicked to watch there are other options it will show on the right side it will show that other videos are there in this platform so if that individual is interested to get more information about health issues so he or she will continue to watch your video so that's why playlist is very very important as long as you have different things that you share in in your platform so that people will still remain to watch people will still engage to watch your video also these are some of the most important thing that you should consider too when you are making this you should also consider this section after you do so after you you create the playlist you should consider about this they will ask you this question and you have to be very specific when it comes to this question because if not and also you have to make sure that you do the right thing when you answer in the question because sometimes some people they will be like okay i will answer this question as a no and then they will still go ahead and post kids videos so straight away it's gonna be an issue for your platform you know youtube will take action against your platform or the video itself maybe they might delete the video so maybe they might give you a strike or they delete the video that you posted it so for me in this section i will definitely decline to answer yes because this video is not meant for kids it's, it's for adults so the next thing they will ask you is your promotion right is your video paid promotion no obviously it's a, some people they have advertisement on their videos or people will pay them for them to create content for them right so for me it's a no i'll just leave this one blank like that and then the next thing they will ask you is this altered content right do any of the following describe your content you know the reason why they ask him this because now now we currently have so many ai channels right like faceless channels youtube channels so if you do create those kind of videos you have to declare this so that the platform itself will know that okay for ai videos or it's made for ai videos right so that they will know but for me it's a no because my platform is not meant with anything concerning ai I do my videos myself you know as you guys can see me so i'll just say no and then the next thing you will move on to is the automatic chapter right 
automatic chapters and for me i think this one is very very important uh, most of the time you will see when you're watching youtube videos they have like section section and also it helps if your page is monetized it helps youtube channel to to figure out where they will put some ads on your videos because if your videos you know getting so much ads it's very very annoying when you're seeing some videos you know at the starting of the video there is an ad and then sometimes some of these ads they are sticky videos right they are stick ads so you can't skip them it will take maybe 20 or 15 seconds you know and that's really disturbing so you will take this one so you allow youtube to make the chapters for you but if you do want to make the chapters by yourself you can also do it if you have the time but for me honest i think the easiest way that i would advise you so make the, the chapters for yourself you can go on your description and do so but for me i don't have that time so i'll just click this one and allow youtube channel to make the chapters right so now the next one is future places right for me i don't think this one is very important now i'll just click this one off because i don't want this uh auto allow automatic places no i don't want that one so i'll click this one off and turn it off and then now the next thing that you should consider is uh, allowing automatic concept right for me this one i will definitely turn this one off again because i don't want to allow any automatic concept about my videos right so here comes the hashtags again now this video as i said so as i said previously this video somebody who lost her legs right so what you will do how i will do this hashtag for me i'll just say okay and then enter and then how this is why you should use this how to because most people whenever they they searching for something on on youtube channel this is the first word they will put how to especially for videos creation videos right they will put the how to so you put this one and uh, and then the next thing you put accident right so these all these things will allow youtube channel to recommend your page so you can put as many as tags you can on this particular section so that it will help youtube channel to you know show your videos to people who are searching for something similar to like this okay now after that you you have the language language and caption certification select your videos language and caption certification so for me i'll just go with english right because uh, english is what uh, is the language that i'm using so i'll go with english you can use whatever language you want your videos to be translated on right so when i use uh, english and then also this certification for me i normally don't do anything if your content appears on u.s television or after separate after september 30 so the next thing you will see is this one um the dates you record your video let me see okay i recorded my video on october 23 you put that one and then also my location i normally put this one uh it's canada right so after that you see the license and this one is very very important to the license because most people they rather to put their content like this way right standard youtube license so in that sense if you put the video like this if anybody use this your videos and put it in their other platform let me say if somebody put this video in their platform i posted the video is not the actual owner of that particular video so the best thing i would advise for me i'll put it in creative commons right so that you will allow other people to be using your videos like to promote your brand right it's a free promotion so you allow that one for me that's that's how i'll leave it the common uh active common co activation right so i'll leave it like that this one is another important point again that you should consider when you're doing this posting right for me i'm not allowing anybody to embed on my videos because the most time you will see people they will come on your in your platform they will copy your videos and start putting their vid these videos on their platform so for me i don't think that's recommendable for me i'm not do that right so i will put this one off this one is very very critical again because like if you have people who subscribe to your page and these people are not actually you know uh related or have any interest towards what you are towards what you are doing these people um when youtube when you post the video youtube will give a notification to this individual and if in the, if these people if these people did not click your videos to watch the video obviously your video will die just like that right so the best thing i would advise you don't put this one unless if you have an audience who are actually you know there for you 
they're always ready to you know watch your videos so that if you put this one it will be beneficial to subscription feed and notification it might be your problem so the next one here is it almost uh the next one is short remix right allow people to use your video so that at least you get promoted as i said it's just like the embedding you know people will use your content start promoting you but for me i'll just leave it like that allow videos and or an audio remix right people will use it and this one is another key point again the category of the video right you have to know which kind of category you are going to put your video because if your channel is about news and then when you post your video you put it to people's and blog sometimes it might disturb you know the, the algorithm to share the video to the right audience so it's very very important as you can see all these ones you know put the, the put the video to the right uh, the category of your platform so for me i'll leave this one like this and the comment also you should allow people to comment in your videos because if you don't allow people if you don't allow the comment section how do you think the traffic is going to be there so you have to allow that one so that people right? so almost the final part of this one and then for me i always like to like to leave my video to always put my videos on the top right so instead of new but if you want you can put it as new video or you can just put it at the top so for me i'll just leave it at the top and then also if you want the subscribers sorry if you want the viewers to show how many people watch your video you can click on this check mark and then allow that one so that people will know how many people have watched the video but some people because of that their channel is very small they be shy so they don't want people to know how many people watch your video so they turn this off but for me it's not advisable right so i move to the next one so this is another important part again of the video right when you're posting your video video element right so what this helps you to do if you let me see if you're using a different language a different language in your videos so the best thing you will do you have to make sure that you give uh, uh add subtitles so when you had when you add the subtitles so people other people understand what you are saying in this video right but if there's no subtitle and the language is different from general language that people used to it's gonna be another challenging again but if you have the, the subtitle you can just put it there right you can just click this one to add it and then the next one again so the next one is the add an end screen an end screen is very very important it will also play the roles just like the, the playlist right if you have an end screen let me say now i'm talking about this video on how i can so how i should help you guys to set up your videos before you post right so let me say maybe i had other videos that i've already done the same thing so maybe i have another topic that i've already showed people on how to do this kind of thing so when you add an end screen it will help people to also get access to click that video so that they can watch that and not they can watch that video instead of going back to your channel and start to shout for your for that particular video so for me the best thing i would do if i if you have a specific video for me mostly i'll just put it to best best of viewers one of right and then also if you want you can make also one you can choose a specific video when you choose a specific video and then you click to add it right and also make sure when you add in this video as you guys can see this line is too long so if you allow this video to be on top of your original video it will cause problems so people won't be able to watch the, the, the actual video itself so make sure that you drag this you drag this one at the end of the video almost like maybe 30 or 40 seconds ending and then you put it there right as you can see this ones right now they are part of the end of the video so before the video end this is how it will show so what you do now you save after you save the very last one is another one add cards so these cards you can add is either your playlist or if you have another video let me see now i'll add my playlist so normally i usually put it like this way between the sides so that whenever the video plays you will see it right so this is how it's gonna show like you see and then if somebody wants to click on that video 
he or she will click on that video trust me after you've done all this setup just remember the key things the thumbnail the title those are very very important for you for your video to stand out there so just remember those things and, and also try to improve because quality is over quantity that's what i believe right i know i'm struggling we just start i'm just starting but it's gonna take time for us you know to get better quality but make sure you improve in your videos as any time especially when it comes to audio and the video quality itself so you have to be very very focused on that and then after that before we come to the end of this video so now after that so after you're done with the video elements now let's go to the checks right the checks already shows that my video has no copyrights this and that so now we jump on visibility so now let's go to the visibility so this visibility is shows uh, meaning of this visibility is when your video is gonna be live or private or on on listed videos right so now for me normally what i do before you publish your video before you put it to private to public please make sure you allow the video to be in this section right make sure you allow your video to be in this section the unlisted section until after you finish everything before you can publish your video right the reason being if he, the video is unlisted and then if there's any changes you want to do on the video you can still able to go on put your video on this step if there's any editing you need to make before you publish the video you can go ahead and do so and also it helped the platform to already you know program the system very nice so that whenever the video go public they would share the video exactly to the people who they think these people may be interested in this video right so that's those so those are the things that you should consider and another key factor again if you want to publish your video you can still go ahead and publish it but i think this one the, the unlisted is more beneficial you can click public and then you click on the set as instant premiere right so the video will premiere as if as you are live and put this on public so you will go ahead and put this on public and then also set as instant premiere right so that your video will go live like you are actually there but you are not there right so that people will come and join the live so you can do so and another basic thing again that pe most people forget before you publish your video if you decided to put your video on, on this step make sure you don't put any of this video into any of the playlists like let me see if you if you want to put your video on this step make sure you don't put it to any public uh playlist because if you put it on the public side definitely people are going to see that video without you posting it yet so you have to make sure you don't put it here just leave it don't put it in this because if you put it there it's gonna be live there so people will be able to see it so if you want to put it on listed just don't put it on any of the places so this is all that i have for you for today so thank you so much for watching this video and i hope this video will help you you know i want us all to go together right this thing is not an easy thing so if you can go through by learning something from me because we all learn from each other so thank you so much and also make sure you check on these videos there are videos you know with very good information that will help you to grow your channel also thank you so much and have a wonderful day peace